Okay, so for today's video, we are going to learn how to fold a zine. Remember, a zine is a small little um, booklet that is meant to share information um, to people that you can share with. So um, we're going to take a look at a few zines, a couple of examples, and then I'm going to teach you how to fold. So this is my little zine pocket book holder. We are not going to be making one of these since we're not making a bunch of zines and, but I, I still think it's cool to be able to hold them in here. So here is an example of a zine right here. So you can see it has a title page. There is a font that is written interestingly. And then you just open it up and you look through it like a little book. And it is an eight page book. You have a back, you have a front, and you have three two page spreads. Here's another little example. They're really fun. They're fun little short stories. You can put a lot of detail and get a lot of work done in such a small space. I love this book, the way the artist utilized a two-page spread to create one image. And like I said at the beginning of the video, and when you watch this video on Monday, um, you can literally make a zine about anything. So this is a zine about how to doodle. Different faces, different fonts different designs, flowers. So yeah, so you're gonna make one of these little booklets. It's just for fun, nice and carefree, stress-free, just to give you a break from all of the work you're doing, the stress you might be having um, with what's going on in the world right now. So just let loose and enjoy, and we're gonna get started. So the things that you are going to need for this project um, is a pair of scissors, an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. So again, that is an eight and a half inch by 11 inch piece of paper. And then as you just saw, you're also going to need a pencil. Okay. Paper. Like I said in my first video, it's ideal if you can get some computer paper, okay? Computer paper is going to be the easiest, the quickest, but if you just absolutely do not have computer paper, you're gonna have to go scavenger hunting around your house and see what you can draw on. Um, the thinner the paper, the better. So I would avoid cardstock. Um, I tried to make a zine using the cardstock, thinking it would be more sturdy. It was a little bit difficult. Um, again, that frame paper that I had, you can fold it so that the white is on the outside. Um, the only issue with this one is it's a little bit slick and shiny, so the pencil may not draw as nicely on it. You could always use a paper bag. Trader Joe's making another appearance, not sponsored. And you can simply cut one of the sides off of it. And using a ruler, you can measure out an eight and a half by 11 inch paper and fold with this. It might be cool to have a zine as parchment paper or like this as well. So yeah. Walk around your house, get yourself some paper. Hopefully you can get your hands on computer paper. Please pause the video once you have your three supplies. Um, Reese, you can press play again. All right, so to get started, we're gonna move the pencil and the scissors off to the side. We don't need them right now. And all you are going to do is take your paper and you are going to do a long fold. So a hot dog fold, 
You want the long sides to touch. You want to try your best to make sure the corners are as even as possible when you are doing this fold. But at the end, some of the corners are going to be a little bit uneven. It's not going to be that big of a deal. You can always use your pencil to really flatten or crease the fold if you would like. Not required. Then we're going to take our long fold and we're just going to fold it again to make the two short sides touch. And then one last fold, we are going to take this and fold it over one more time. You can pause the video here and get those folds um, finished and then restart when you're ready. Okay, so here is what we need to do next. We're going to unfold our paper. And you will notice that we have eight sections divided on our computer paper. We need to transform this into a book. This is going to be the hardest part about this project, but if you follow along with me, you will get it. If you make a mistake the first time, you can always rewind my video and rewatch to make sure that you are doing the right step. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to pinch that middle line, one, two, three, line number two, and we are going to take our paper and fold it in half. That way the short sides are touching right now. I'm going to do that one more time. So you have your paper. You are going to pinch line number two, one, two, three, pinch, fold in half, and we're ready for the next step. You are going to need your scissors for this last part. We're going to take it. You need to make sure that you're on the folded side, okay? not the side that opens. You wanna make sure you are cutting on the folded side, not the side that opens. So if you're on the side that can't open, it's a fold, you are correct. So we're gonna take our pair of scissors and we are very carefully and slowly going to cut along this line. You are going to stop at that little intersection right there. You do not go past that point. So you're going to cut on the folded side and you're going to take one or two snips and stop at the intersection of those two lines. Pause the video here and when you are ready, you can press play. All right, last step, little bit tricky, but no more cutting, no more folding. So all we're going to do is pick up our paper. We're gonna open it up fully. We're going to fold it like this, and then we're gonna pinch it and squish it together into a plus sign. And then you'll notice that the book just kind of folds and collapses on itself. And then you have a little tiny zine and that's how you make them. I always like to use my pencil and crease it all down so that it is nice and ready to draw on. If you got confused on that last step, I suggest you rewind 
play and re-watch it and try again and again until you get it. We have one more step after this, so pause and press play when you are ready. All right, so what we are going to do is label our pages. It's really, really simple, easy to do. I'm just gonna take my pencil and very, very lightly, I'm gonna write the number one in the corner. I'm gonna turn the page, I'm gonna write the number two, the number three, the number four, the number five, the number six, seven, and eight. The reason why I am asking you to label your pages is because I personally like to draw my zine with it open. And once I open it up, I can see which page to draw on and which panel to match. If that's way too confusing for you, you can always keep it as a little book and draw and then turn the page and draw and turn the page and draw. 100% um, up to you. I really don't mind, but um, I will probably open up my paper and draw on it like this, just because it's flatter and it's easier for my hand and stuff to move. So at this point, we're going to go back to our drawing and our layout, and we're going to start sketching. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to do this whole thing for you. I think you have the general idea based on the, the little examples I showed you at the beginning. Um, but just so you get an idea, this is page number one. So I am going to want to start sketching my title page here on page number one. Remember in my design, I wanted that tuna can to be nice and big in the foreground. And then I wanted like two big cat's eyes looming in the darkness behind it. just ready, ready to eat. I suggest that you sketch everything in pencil first, nice and light. You can always erase the page numbers later if you don't like the look of that. Um, but yeah, any questions? Just hit me up on canvas email and I will do my best to reply to you I feel like I, I want his eyes to be more cartoony maybe I'll figure it all out but once I refold it up you can see that this is my title page and then when I open and go through all the pages, it's going to make a lot of sense. So if you have any questions, please email me on Canvas. I will do my best to answer. I hope these videos helped. I hope you enjoyed hearing the sound of my voice. Maybe it's a little more familiar, like if you're in my classroom. Um, and I will see you around online.